It's Eric back in the naturopath from New Zealand. Thanks for coming back. Let's talk about indigestion and 10 things you can do to stop it, to prevent it. So <clears throat> I think the first thing, uh, the most paramount thing really is to stop and look at what goes in here. You know? and remember, I've always said the best exercise for losing weight, it's this, pushing the plate away from this pushing it that way that's the best exercise for weight loss it really is so look at what you eat and look at how much you eat all right portion sizes tracy and i went out a couple of months ago we went to visit her relations just further north here on the north island and we went out for dinner and i could not believe what i saw people putting on their plates like how much food like just flipping mountains of food you know, I mean, some people honestly need a conveyor belt almost, you know, to save them from getting up and going back and forwards to get more food. These are the sort of people that get heartburn. So plate after plate after plate. It's excessive food. The stomach, it's not good. The stomach's going to start swelling up. You're going to, you know, get used to larger portion sizes. This is how you get indigestion. Limit the amount of food you eat. The stomach will get smaller and you'll have an easier time, a much easier time. All right. The second one is chewing better chew 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 so smaller amounts of food but more time chewing that will increase the satiety so you'll feel fuller and you won't get that indigestion in fact when you're in indigestion everything needs to be slowed down you need to slow down how you drink slow down how you eat and that can make an enormous difference alone just slowing down all right i've seen people with indigestion eat food so fast it's ridiculous so chewing better leads to pooing better. Doesn't sound good, but it does, all right? And also you'll eat a lot less when you chew better. Third point, add these kind of things to your diet. Maybe not initially, because it might be a bit difficult, but ginger, fresh ginger, I like uh, to add to the cooking, turmeric and ginger, but also things like papaya, kiwi fruit, even small amounts of honey. These things all improve the stomach's tone over a period of time. Add bitter foods to the diet, not sweet foods. So look at the foods that you love the most, and often they'll be sweet foods. So when you put bitter foods in and take the sweet ones out, you won't like sweet anymore. Trust me, you won't like it. You'll like bitter. And bitter improves digestion. It stimulates the stomach and the small bowel to work better. Sweet does the opposite. Sweet doesn't really improve digestion, but bitter does. You'll get also uh, a lot less bloating, a lot less gas, and easier bowel motions with more bitter foods. You know? Point number four, baking soda and water helps a lot of people if they do get that. About a quarter to a half a teaspoon. Sometimes you, you can even take a whole teaspoon in a glass of water, stir it down the hatch not too fast or it could so slow down and just take sip 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 same can be said for cider vinegar right? and that's my next point number five is apple cider vinegar so i've seen lots of people improve their stomach to a high degree just by having a couple of teaspoons of apple cider vinegar in a glass of water and having that once or twice a day if you've got really bad heartburn reflux like bad um, cabbage juice works very well to calm that down. Cabbage juice settles the stomach down nicely. So just a couple of leaves, juice it, and then just first thing in the morning before you eat anything is just have that raw cabbage juice on the stomach. It can make a world of difference. Number six, avoid fatty foods and sweet foods and you know, pastry foods are like these sort of heavy foods like donuts and pastries and deep fried foods and you know things from Kentucky Fried Chicken, all that kind of crap. This is what really can stimulate heartburn. When I was a student, I used to be a bin man, so I emptied bins, garbage bins for several years. And sometimes we would tip bins for shops um, for favors. You know, we we get food and things off them. So, and this one day. Uh, you know, of the week, we would tip bins for this guy. I think he was an Italian or a Greek guy, and he made all these sausage rolls and pies and things. And so he would give us those. So I'll never forget. This went on for a few months until the penny finally dropped. I used to get a lot of indigestion in the afternoon on that day, and then I realised it was because I was eating this crappy food in the morning. 
with a lot of pastry and meat in it and junk in it. And then later that day, I'd get, oh, this terrible heartburn. So I stopped eating that junk and the heartburn disappeared. So if you can find out what the trigger is, uh, it can help you a lot. Seventh one is don't lie down after you've had a meal because this can really cause a lot of problems lying down. So just stay upright and keep your posture good because it'll improve your digestion. Eighth one is peppermint tea. So sometimes a glass of uh, or a cup of nice warm peppermint tea can really settle uh, the indigestion right down. Um, what do we got here? Number nine is alcohol. That's not really a smart thing at all if you've got indigestion. Also, look at pharmaceutical medications you're taking that could be causing or stimulating indigestion to get worse, like Advil, like uh, you know Tylenol, ibuprofen, paracetamol. These sort of drugs can really flare up the stomach. And the last one is weight loss, which is very important. Weight loss can really um, help people, particularly those who end up with hiatus hernia. So if you look at the lower esophageal sphincter, <clears throat> sitting there at the bottom here, diaphragms and muscle, um, that when you've got too much abdominal fat, it will push that sphincter up and it will create more spillage and heartburn and problems. So losing weight is a paramount thing to do in that case. Hope you got something out of this video. Thanks for tuning in.